Hey everyone, welcome back to Sofa and Chill. I'm Kev today. Yeah, gonna be watching another episode in the Pacific. This one's episode eight, it's Iwo Jima. Firstly, thank you for being here. If you're watching this with me today, I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Kev. Uh, and if you're a regular, then welcome back. Uh, I must be doing something right if I'm keeping you here. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for your continued love and support on the channel. It means absolutely everything to us. Um, thanks for all your comments as well regarding this show. Um, the show. You know me, I like to reply to a lot of uh, messages that I get, in it, but I have been told just to stay away from the, um, from the comments on this one. The reason being is that I know some of them survive to go on and write books. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of people who like to give away who uh, who survives. Now, if you tell us who survives, then I know that they're going to survive. And then if they're getting shot at, I'm like, oh, you know, I know they're gonna, I know they live. It takes away that kind of element, if that makes sense. I wanna, I don't know who survives yet. So, out of the people, we in episode, come episode eight, uh, Iwo Jima, which I'm, I think is gonna be brutal. Um, I'm guessing we have Lecky, who wrote a book. I'm guessing uh, Eugene Sledge wrote a book and my third is John Bassalone I'm guessing wrote a book so I don't know if I'm correct or not I am guessing I'm right with I think I'm right with the lucky one um yeah and you see Eugene writing a lot as well so yeah I hope they make it I hope they do I hope it's great um this show has been amazing brutal disturbing especially with snafu throwing like something into that uh, prisoner's well it wasn't a prisoner he was a a dead Japanese soldier into he's thrown something into his skull cavity he had off the top of his head blown off um yeah that was a bit brutal um I'm expecting no kind of respite I'm expecting it to get ramp up and ramp up and ramp up which I don't know how they're gonna get uh how they're gonna ramp it up more than kind of the airfield which was just insanely just brutal and it's in in terrifying to watch um yeah uh loving the show so much um I, I can see where they're going with regards to Sledge. It's kind of like very much dehumanizing everything. He's just, his cheese is sliding like slowly off its cracker. And he's, uh, yeah, and it's showing you that side of things to, yeah, it, yeah, it becomes almost dehumanized to stuff and desensitized to everything. Um, you know, he was, he nearly, he nearly took the knife and cut out the, the teeth. Now, I reckon Snafu, Snafu said it was going to be for germs and stuff. Like I said in the last episode, I don't think it was germs. I think Snafu realizes that once you've you've over you've you've stepped into that realm, you've gone from being a certain kind of person to that kind of person. There's no going back. And I think Snafu, as much as he's completely weird, I do think that that's what he realized with Sledge. He's like, look, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that because he must. He's like, I know what it's like. You don't want to go there. Um, devastated with the loss of Akak, such a huge role. Um, not just in the show, but like for all the guys, obviously, it was such a, like a pivotal uh, like leader, and you could see you could see everybody, you could see like the the absolute destruction it caused throughout throughout the regiment when they realised Akak had been killed. Um, even yeah, everybody felt it, and, and as much and it was awful because I kind of saw it coming with the fact that he was building such a close relationship with 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 Sledge. And I was thinking, oh, don't, don't do this, don't do this, because it will just push, push him over the edge. Um, this one's Iwo Jima. I'm um, guessing they've left Peleliu, and and I, I'm guessing this is going to ramp up more. It's, it's just brutal. I want to watch it, but I don't. <laughs> I do. Uh, if you're enjoying the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really does help the channel out a lot. And if you can drop a comment on there, on there, it would be brilliant. We also put the full length episodes to this over on the Patreon, along with other stuff. You don't need a copy of it. It's all uncut and unblurred and unedited over there. So if you want to go over and watch that type of stuff, it's completely up to you. I'll leave a link. So here we go. I'm excited, nervous, want to shoot yourself, but also want to watch it at the same time. <laughs> Let's go. November 1944. 1944. Pele Lu was an American victory, but it came at great cost. I bet it did. First Marine Division lost more than a third of their men. Suffering over 6,000. 6,500. We were what I would call a bunch of raggedy ass Marines when that battle was over. Raggedy ass. He's been on a few times. I wonder who that is. Would not use Pelelu in retaking the Philippines. What? 
nor was the island ever used for any future operations. What? Few would hear of the fierce battle fought on Peleliu. Peleliu was a forgotten battle. And I, I want it to be known what? that there was a battle there and it was... It wasn't used. I think if you'd give your life for something that wasn't even used. Eight square miles of volcanic rock and ash. What? We knew, as Marines, if we landed on that island, that if we didn't get killed or whenever, we could win that war. Man, you'd be shitting yourself, man. How about... 30,000 Marines landed on the beaches of Iwo Jima. It was the only battle in the war where American casualties outnumbered the Japanese. Oh, don't say that. This is gonna be awful. A lot of good Marines got killed there. I think I was blessed by getting wounded. There aren't many of us that got out. Oh my God, that's a bomb. Oh, and they're just buried under the ash. Fuck. I would have been extremely disappointed uh, if your friends had been over there and, you know, you got to Peleliu and then it wasn't used in any of the invasions. Dude. So I'm expecting... Oh my god! Uh, he said that this was the, like, the only time the, the Marines kind of outnumbered the, the Japanese with regards to deaths. Oh my god, me fucking heart muscles gonna explode. Feel it already. The thing is, like... It just goes to show how important a score, like, all the music can be in a show. Like, this gets you going. Like, already. But Hans Zimmer's a set, doesn't he? Some boy. And I'm still on the fence with John. I don't know what he's doing. He just, he doesn't seem to be happy at all. Unless this was just in his book that he wrote that he, he it never really pleased him leaving his men. Just keep your head on. Don't lose it completely. You'll have to let me know in the comment section which your favorite, what was your favorite episode in the whole of the Pacific. You can see the difference in him now. He seems just completely shut. Look, his eyes. Keep it, Sledge. Your old man's a doctor. I'm getting that yellow John that's been going around, I know it. It's hepatitis and you don't have it. I'll catch a fever, then turn inside out through my asshole like Carson and Love Company. Oh. I'm dying, Sledge. I just got transferred out of King. What? What? Where? Headquarters Company. It'll be all right, Jay. That must be so hard. Well, you brothers have a lot oh, to is. talk over. What do you say, Carlo? Well, for one thing, I'd like to be out there fighting with Johnny. Instead of making camouflage paint. But some guys have to give us the stuff to fight with. I'll never forget that day you left for overseas. Ha ha, that's right. You got up to go, and all you said was, goodbye, folks. Be seeing you in the funnies. Sure. This is go definitely ahead, weird. Tell us about the night you killed all those Japs. Remember? My guns began throwing a lot of stuff. And plenty of stuff was coming back. I mean, it was what are they doing here? Positions. We fought valiantly to check Trying to think out. about what they're doing this. Are they doing this to, to, in, to show that John doesn't want to be there? And it's. That it sounded like a movie star. That's oh, me, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna go make a film now. Of this genie, right, yeah. We're so proud of you. Ma, all I do is dress up and say what they tell me. Well, everyone in America knows the family name because of you, John. Right. <laughs> hey, I, I get free drinks because of my hero brother. How about that? <laughs> I love that, John. No. Yeah. School's on me. Can somebody with the Medal of Honor, can he go back? Can he re redeploy himself? Would you? Even if you could, would you? You know. You'd... It might. You mightn't like it, but Jesus Christ, man! A lot of people would take that fucking job. You've done your bit. You saved so many men. You've got your Medal of Honor. You know. You deserve. You deserve your time down now. I've been back more than a year, sir. Wow. I've done what the Corps asked me to do. What about you have, John? Well, I see your enlistment's up in six months. 
I'll tell you what, I'll push through your discharge. This isn't one of go you go home now. No, sir, that's not what I mean. My home is the core. What? I just can't push pencils anymore. Let me go back and train the new kids. Oh, just Let me help them the way I know how. To train them, okay. You make me proud to be a Marine. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, John. So he's going to go to Camp Pendleton and train. <laughs> I love it. Yes, John. Oh, good. So he's not on the front line. That's all that matters. Stay off the front line, son. This is good to have another combat veteran training. Put your feet up. Whatever you want. What? All right, cheers, mate. 10 o'clock in the morning, and they're like, just, just put your feet up, son. He's, so he was away for a year. Wow. Company, fall in on your racks. Why do I find you in your racks in the middle of the day? We've had no orders, Sergeant. As of now, you are the first machine gun squad in B Company's weapons platoon. The guy killed like a thousand Japs on the canal. The president gave him a medal. He's a hero. He's not to, not to them, though. He's, tra he's gonna rag them to fuck. <laughs> Get up there, Ned! Move! The Jap Bunsai charge is right there! They're coming, damn it! Teamwork is the key to the Marine Corps machine Go on, John. squad. Set that pin on the tripod. Get that gun out of the dirt. Uh, Drop that machine gun. Fumble with a belt. Your buddies die. You cannot fuck this up, ever. Lives depend on it. Break it down. Do it again. It's just them, them two, them fucking two lads are like shit. We're getting absolutely ragged to death. Off Medal of Honor, Sergeant John Bassalon. Go and get yourself some more. Uh, yes, Sergeant. Come on. Oh, she's hot. Oh, John's yeah, like, come yeah, here. Yeah. Can I give you a hand? We got it under control. See these stripes? I'm an NCO just like you. Sergeant Lena Riggi. I'm. I'm Lucy. <laughs> Sorry, Lucy. Off you pop. You know, it's a cock train to LA. Just in case you're interested. Oh, fuck off. I fancy the other bird. Oh, ho, ho. There's always a love interest. Go on, John. I think he's gonna have a hard time pulling this together. This bird, though. I'll say a bird. Do apologize, Sergeant. Sergeant Riggy. Yes. I'm assuming that's Italian, right? Uh -huh. Here it comes. Hey, we're both probably related to Joe DiMaggio. You know, I know where we can get the best lasagna in the city. I could go for some good lasagna. L.A. is full of girls for a guy like you. You'll do fine. Happy hunting, Sergeant. Oh, she's blown him off completely. He's gonna want that even more. He's so used to girls just being like throwing themselves at him and he's just like that. Nah. Like that's why that Lucy was like, uh, we go there and he was just like, yeah, shh. Hey. It's true what they say about you. You get shot down, you keep coming back. <laughs> what? Everybody comes to the Biltmore, don't they? Oh, see what I can do. It's making a table appear out of thin air. Yes, they know me. Looks like it'll just be the two of us. Oh, yes, John. That's why you arranged all this? To impress me before we get down to business? <sighs> business? Well, that's standard operating procedure for you, isn't it? Oh, man, cheers. No. I appreciate that, thanks. Not anymore. Call us a slag. <laughs> it was John Bass alone, the hero of Guadalcanal. Oh, she's having his life here, yeah. She's, she's got him bent over a canal. Can make it inside? I had a shrimp cocktail and a coke just before they closed the joint. If I did something stupid, I'm sorry. You didn't do anything a million other guys haven't done. You just did it in a nicer room. Oh, wow. Jay is mad. She's obviously good. She's obviously knows what he's been like. And to be fair, he was. He was. He had his fair share of friendly evenings. <laughs> the rest of the company comes in today from Mainside. Oh, nice. They'll be pretty green, Gunny. Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of that. Enlistment runs out in July. You've been in eight years. Wow. Put it across that water! Get up there, Oh, he's got a full company now. You'll smash these to bits. <laughs> All the training that goes into making a Marine. If you haven't already got it up here, though, to push yourself. Two ranks behind me. Go on, John. He's definitely going to try. See, there's something different about her. So 
I don't know if she is like a future a future partner. She isn't just like a, a notch on his belt. This may not be appropriate, but hold on. He's gonna ask her out. I would be happy if you would allow me to take you out for a proper dinner. Nice place, but no. What about just a meal then? Friday is no good for me. Oh, good, good. She's back. I have orders. She's buckled. Big banquet for the officers. How about breakfast? Tomorrow morning. The KP reports 0530. I show 0500. That's good. See, I like that as well. It's not just like I meet you on the night and do what other people have done. Every Marine out of those racks and on my deck! It's half three. Move your ass! So do you want to slap a Jap, Gunny? I bet you all want to do more than slap a Jap. Yes, sir! Slap a Jap. That's what the enemy is to you, huh? I have no idea. A fucking buck tooth cartoon dreamed up by some asshole on Madison Avenue to sell soap. The Japanese soldier. It's fucking brutal. He has been at war since you were in fucking diapers. He's a combat veteran. Yeah. An expert with his weapon. He can live off of maggoty rice and muddy water for weeks and endure misery. You couldn't dream up in your worst nightmare. Yes, John. The Japanese soldier doesn't care if he gets hurt or killed. Why aren't you in your full packs? Gear up. Well, that's it. People just go over there thinking that, like you say, they've drew up what the, the enemy is. Not really what they are, like they're fucking unbelievably tough. She making you some French toast? <laughs> You're gonna enjoy this. You strike me as an Italian mama's boy. Wanted to make you feel at home. Well, I told at a very early age I was the best thing since sliced copy whole. That's how to build a relationship, like that. This is good. <laughs> Morning after the battle, my guys cooked up the coffee over a fire of green coconut logs. Wasn't any part of me that didn't hurt. See, that's real. Burns on my hands. Ears still ringing from the shelling. Finally, my father just stopped talking to me. Oh. Cut me out of the family. A year later, I got my stripes. What? I went home to see my mom and my brothers. <laughs> my pop walked in. And he put the milk and one sugar in for me. That was the best I ever had. <laughs> Incredible what can happen over a cup of coffee. Oh, nice, John. Well played. I love everything about it. I can't imagine being anywhere or doing anything else. You might hear this all the time. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Oh. I don't hear it all. I don't hear that very often. Yes, John. Okay, uniform. Oh, she likes him now. Here he is. <laughs> He's going to rig rag these all over. <laughs> Fire! Listen up. This is a bail. It'll make it easier to carry the gun with a hot barrel. Let me show you. Go on, John. Show them what it's, how, what it's made of. <laughs> They'll be like, holy shit. Better start practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Recognize, bitch. That's all I have to say. I hope, like, the way they've built this up, I hope this lasts, this is like a long relationship, because he's had all of these bitches on the side. Sorry, brother. He's had all of these, uh, these skanky hoes. <laughs> and now it's like he's met. And she's really nice. Like, I can't just picture her being, like, another notch on the belt and then off you go. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm such a romantic. Attention on deck! Oh, everyone shits herself. The 5th Division will ship out very soon for action in the Pacific Theater of War. We won't know our destination until we're well underway. Am I clear? And then John just does John just get another group. I have some more good news. Gunnery Sergeant John Vassalone has decided that home can wait. What? He will be joining us. What the fuck? Oh, Ted! He's gone with them. That is. Didn't want it, didn't want that to happen. So is anybody scared? No, no sir. sir. 
Your lying sex is shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be scared. You ready? Company, dismiss. <laughs> it's coming with us. That'll be that'll be unbelievable for the guys. Like the, the, no one can beat us. John Bassalone's coming with us. I'm worried about John Bassalone. Is he gonna tell his lass that he's going and she's gonna kick off? He's gonna say I'm going. She's gonna go fucking mental. What's up? Out with it. Whatever grim tidings you men carry around with you like rock sacks. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, don't break a heart. I've shipped off. I've re-enlisted. I see. So if you're looking for something else. This sounds like an ultimatum. Oh, don't do that, son. Just say it. I'm in for the duration plus six months. Oh, good. Stay together. So, where do we go from here? What? 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 The married? Stay there. I'm gonna take what the fuck? <laughs> it looks oh, I'm so happy. Let me get a shot. No, you stay there. I want to take it. Look here, darling. Try not to blush. I feel like a paratrooper. Oh, she looks beautiful, man. Look at her. I hope nothing happens to him when he's away. I can't, I couldn't deal with it. Oh, it's nice to see them both out of like the, out, out of the kit and they're just, they've got the civvies on. This is like, this is different action to what I expected for this episode. It's gonna kind of make it really worrying. Him going back over there and being with them, he's going to be back in fighting. I mean, I don't know how much of this is real. Did he really marry this girl? John, what have we done? We're going to have six kids. <laughs> it's a lot of kids. Like that so much. Oh, look at her. Upset. This is yours now. I want you to wear it. I wouldn't be happy, mind. Like, it's not that, I mean, if this really did happen in real life and John dies, I won't be happy. He shouldn't have re-enlisted, I know, but that's who he is as a person, like, as a soldier. But he's found her, he could have just left. Oh, I shit myself there, I've got these fucking headphones on that can shit myself. D-Day, Iwo Jima. Obviously, he's gone over there. Don't, 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 don't. Just keep your head down. I said, look at me! You want to live? Get off the beach! John! Oh, my God. Keep moving! Oh, my God. He's blown to bits. Fucking brutal. Oh my god, I've got a bad i I've got a bad feeling he's gonna get hit. I can't I don't wanna watch it. Yes, that's his that's his team. Oh my god, they're all getting hit. Wow man, he's just off on his own. He is fucking mental. Disable that gun, man, please. Disable that fucking gun. It's too... It's massive. Yes. You need to be a bit more accurate than that, son. Get the charges. Hide the charges in. Blood's fucking nose off. Oh, nice. Oh, there's another there's a machine gun around the top. Oh, 
Oh my god. This is what he does. He likes to grab the machine gun and run. Go on, John. Oh, fuck. I thought he came up behind John. He saved John's life. God, the bullets are just kind of skimming his head. Go on, John. See, he's like running. He's showing them what to do to stay alive. Yeah, get yourself away there, John. Oh my god, John, what are you doing? Don't go into slow motion. Oh my god, there's bits of arms and legs knocking about. Go on, John. Oh, that's fucking violent. There's legs and arms and shit knocking about. Right, just get behind the tank. Oh no, the tank's been hit. Shit. Oh, they're not all gonna get fucking murdered, are they? Get that guy over here. It's like they're not all gonna get mowed down, please. Don't get hit, John, please. I know it's already happened. What, whatever's happened has already happened, but I don't. Oh, oh no! I knew I went into slow motion. I'm fucking. St ah. I went into slow motion. I, s I saw. Fuck off. He's still alive though. He's not just gonna die like this, is he? Please to fucking God, no. Oh yeah, so look at all the blood pouring out the back. Oh, I'm fucking sick. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely gutted. I'm fucking tripping over his dead body. I'm fucking sick. I literally have no words to describe how angry I am. And then they're going to go and tell Lena that he's died. I have no words. There's no words to describe. Okay. Okay, doggy. Let's talk about it. So, okay. Fuck off. <laughs> right, okay. Um, obviously. What happened in real life, you can't change what happened. Um, so it's just I wasn't I wasn't aware of the death of John Barcelona. So okay, he didn't write the book. Um, I thought that John might have wrote one of the books because he got out. Um, I wondered what they were doing, as you might have wondered. I mentioned that in the last episode, I think even the one before. Um, they seemed to be pulling at John to be to want to go back. Um, and I had a feeling that he was. He was getting sick, he was getting tired, he was getting bored. Um, and he just, he, you know, he, he's a core man through and through. He wanted to be back with, with his squad. He wanted to be back with the men in any kind of, in any kind of concept, in any kind of way. He just wanted to be back around it and back amongst it. Um, he met this girl. I don't know how much of this is based on real life, whether it, it did actually happen, or whether this was just like an added, you know, like a little bit of writer's creativity uh, or anything. Um, I'm guessing there must have been some kind of truth to it. Obviously, they've, they've probably filled in the rest of the gaps. 
um, as to how they brought it about, but, you know, just for the fact that they're married, and then, you know, you've been seeing John, I mean, we've seen him since the fucking opening episode, you know, we were in the house, so that means, um, well, I mean, JP, you know, there was JP and Manny, and, th and, that, and then, and John, and then John got the Medal of Honor, he's been with his family, going back, and then, you know, he wanted to, and then he, he could have just got out, he could have got out, but instead, he decided to stay, um, redeploy with the many trained, and he's been killed on I I Iwo Jima. Um, oh my god, I'm, it's just, it's like heart-wrenching, because like, the way they built that up, the way they made the story, the way they, they kind of introduced this, this, this sergeant, um, and that he ended up marrying her, uh, and the story, and how like, you know, as well, you know, I mean, obviously they have a little, like you say, a bit of creativity with it, and you saw how she was crying because she was so happy that she finally met somebody, she could have children. And I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a romantic, do you know what I mean? So I was thinking I wanted them all to go off into the sunset and live happily ever after he deserved it, after everything he's done. Um, but instead, he was a core man, he decided to, to extend, and he's gone to Iwo Jima, and he was killed. Uh, I will, at the end of the Pacific, I obviously, I don't, I don't Google anything now, because I might see something that uh, that I don't want to see with regards to who else lives um, or dies. So I'll wait till the end, but there's only a couple of episodes left. I've almost ripped this nail off. I've been sitting here kind of ripping it because that, that was really frustrating near the end. Um, it's just I had a feeling that they were all like you just saw loads of death there. We got really close to the end and then it did a massive jump. Um, I'm guessing a lot of them died on there, uh, including obviously including John. Um, and it, when it went into slow motion, I was like, oh my god, it's, he's gonna get fucking hit here. Um, you, you just hope, you just hope he doesn't. You know? You just hope, you're just kind of hoping that he kind of fights through and gets through and gets back. Um, wasn't to be, you know? Uh, and God rest him. You know, amazing soldier. Uh, but yeah. Hard, bitter, bitter pill to swallow that one. Um, yeah. So, we move on to the next episode, I'm guessing, and... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to focus um, about on our sledge and stuff because I think that will be the story with John and everything's kind of that's come to a dramatic and unexpected conclusion um, and then we'll probably go back uh, to see Sledge and, uh, and Snafu and them um, I'm fucking sick gutted yeah. even though the last few episodes you haven't seen John and in an effect, he could, he could have just not come back. He could have just gone off and been the poster boy for the for, for the core. But the fact that it kind of focused on him again and kind of you brought him back into the story, had a full episode, like with him training people up, and you can see he's a, he was he's a good actor as well. So you could see like you know how 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 much you wanted it, and then all of a sudden you know to see him die like that, it just shows that it, uh, nobody was safe. You know. That's all I have to say. If you missed that, that was ah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming here and spending a little bit of time with a silly northerner watching the Pacific today. I really appreciate it. Um, drop a comment to let us know how you felt. Uh, that episode if it tore your heart out as much as mine. If it annoyed you as much as it annoyed me. Um, try not to give us any spoilers though. I wouldn't mind if you let us know whether his wife was real. And whether they they did get married and she was a sergeant and stuff that would be really nice without any other spoilers so that would be great but it would be really nice if you let us know about her i'd appreciate that um yeah if uh, like i mentioned if you if you're new and you enjoyed it um i will put a playlist to the other stuff that they've seen i've also seen the band of brothers as well i'll stick the playlist there if you'd like to go back and check that out and remember like i say i do put all the full length re reactions to this over on the Patreon if you want to go over and have a look. And just again, thank you as always for spending any time with me today. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you very, very soon for episode nine.